Good afternoon. Today I'm going to be reviewing the J Queen Best Single Watch Winder. This winder is available from jqueenwatchwinders.com for 50 US dollars including shipping. The winder is covered by an 18 month warranty and it also has a 30 day return policy. And you can fill in your email address on their website and they will email you a 5% discount code so you can discount the 50 US dollar price by 5%. So firstly, let's look at the items that come with the winder and then I'll talk you through the specifications of it. So the winder comes with this owner's instruction manual, clear concise diagrams. Now the negative is it's not translated into English. It is translated into French, German and Mandarin, but for some reason they haven't included English, which would be the most useful language. And I'm hoping that JQueen update this owner's manual to include English for people that don't speak French, German or Mandarin. One also gets this microfiber polishing cloth and lastly one also gets this AC power adapter lead. So as you can see the plug plugs into the back of the winder and this is the European two pin version. Now the way this works is J Queen go by the country you're ordering from. So the watch winder is available with three different plugs, European, American or UK. So if you don't message them and specify which plug you want, they go by the country you're ordering from. If you order from America, they send the American plug, from Europe, the European plug, and from the UK, the UK plug respectively. So you can specify which of the three plugs you want, but otherwise they will just go by the country you're ordering from. Now, as an alternative to using the AC power adapter plug, on the base, as you can see, it has a plastic panel, which you can remove, which I'll show you. And you can also power it by two AA batteries, as you can see. Now, I've been testing this with two Energizer rechargeable batteries because I always like to see how watch winders run, not just off AC power, but also off battery power. Now, these rechargeable batteries were fully charged, and I've put them in and run this for 12 hours to test the winder to see how quiet it is and to see how quickly it depletes the power of the batteries. So I've been running it for 12 hours non-stop and it's still going strong and the batteries still haven't been exhausted. So that's something to note. For example, if you're traveling and you don't want to bring the power plug, you can simply run it off battery power. Or if you're not near a plug socket in your house, you can simply run it off rechargeable batteries as an alternative to AC power. As you can see on the base, we have four rubber feet and that's good because it stops the watch winder sliding about when on a smooth desktop or bedside cabinet and also it won't scuff or scratch lacquered or polished um, desktops or cabinets. So I like the rubber feet and they reduce vibration from the motor so it doesn't vibrate about on the tabletop. So as you can see it has a hinge lid which opens. Now on some watch winders they have a micro switch built in so that when one opens the lid it activates the micro switch and it stops the motor. The thing to note about this J Queen best single watch winder is it doesn't have a micro switch in the lid. So for example, when it's running, as I'll show you, when one opens the lid, it continues to run. So if you want to take the watch out after opening the lid, you, all, you always need to remember to switch it off at the base on the back first uh, before removing the watch, otherwise you can damage the motor. So that's something to note. I would like to see them upgrade this to putting a micro switch in the lid so that when the lid's opened, it would remove, it would break the power supply to the motor. So one just has to remember to switch it off. And the padded pillow cushion works very well, as you can see. You'll know from my previous reviews, I have a large eight inch wrist. So this Black Bay 58 bracelet is on its maximum size with all the links. And as you can see, it's size for my eight inch wrist. And it's a good snug fit, even with an eight inch bracelet this doesn't slide off the cushion. So the padded pillow cushion will compress down to a six to seven inch bracelet size, or alternatively, it will expand up to an eight and a half inch wrist size. So even if you have a larger bracelet, up to eight and a half inches, this will suffice. So it will go down to six inches quite easily and up to a maximum of eight and a half inches. And it's a good snug fit inside the body, as you can see. It doesn't slide about easily, it's a good snug fit, but it does slide in and out easily without too much resistance. And very easy to fit inside the watch, as I'll show you. It compresses very easily. Now this is a rubber sponge, so it's going to last a good length of time. So as you can see, easy to fit the watch. Watch is a good snug fit, it doesn't flop about on it. And one can easily just slide it in. Nice snug fit close the lid and then press the power button on the reverse. Now the thing I like about the cushion being a snug fit is with some watch winders the cushions are undersized for larger bracelets. 
Now I've previously reviewed other watch winders and they come with two different size cushions, a small and a large for 6 to 7 inch bracelets and 7 to 8 inch bracelets respectively. This only has one because as you can see it will work for 6 inches up to 8.5 and, and I like the fact the watch isn't flopping around inside, it's not a loose fit on the cushion, it's a snug fit. The other thing to note is there's plenty of clearance beneath the acrylic glazed window. So with some watch winders they don't have enough clearance on the inside of the lid and the problem is if you're running a larger watch, a 42 or a 45 millimeter head of the piece, sometimes the bezel and the double dome sapphire crystal can catch the underside of the window, the acrylic or glass uh, glazing so the problem is it can scuff the watch and also scuff the inside of the window but with this one as you can see there's lots of clearance because they've angled the watch at 45 degrees and it's a very good design because no matter how large the watch is even up to a 45 millimeter head of the piece this one is of 39 of course it's not going to catch the glazed window and it's nice to be able to look at it through the top and also through the front so the thing to notice one just needs to switch it off before removing it. Now I'll show you the reverse. Now as you can see it only has one controller so it has a power on off switch on the left we have the port for the AC power adapter and then we have this which controls the direction so we have the option of clockwise, anti-clockwise, alternating and a second alternating uh, function. So why do we have two alternating functions? Well when rotating clockwise, it runs at 900 TPD, 900 turns per day. Anti-clockwise, it's 900 TPD. Alternating clockwise and anti-clockwise, it's 650 or alternatively 900. So one has the two options of 650 or 900 turns per day when alternating clockwise and anti-clockwise. However, I would like to see J Queen upgrade this and add an additional power control knob for different TPD settings, for example, 500, 900, 1200, and 1500, etc. Now, the reason why I say that is 900 turns per day will suffice if you have a 40 hour power reserve watch, such as an NH35A or PT5000 or an SW200 1 respectively. 900 turns per day will wind. Uh, a 40 hour power reserve watch if you run the winder continuously for 8 to 12 hours per day. But however, if you have a higher power reserve uh, movement, such as 50, 60 or 70 hours per day, for example, my Black Bay 58 has a 70 hour power reserve, 900 turns per day isn't enough for a 70 hour power reserve watch. It really needs 1200 to 1500 turns per day. So therefore, if you have a higher power reserve movement, such as 50, 60 or 70 hours per day, I recommend you go for a watch winder with 1200 to 1500 turns per day options. This one maxes at 900. Now 900 is good enough for an NH35A or an SW200-1 as I've detailed, but something to bear in mind. So for example, with this Black Bay 58 with 70 hours, even running it for 12 hours, 900 turns per day will wind it, but it won't wind it fully to its 70 hours. It will wind it to 40 hours, which is good enough to keep it running, but not to its absolute limit. So as you can see, it's finished in solid wood, which is piano black lacquered to a very high standard. Absolute flawless finishing to the lacquer finishing. And the piano black is very aesthetically pleasing. They also sell this in a plethora of, of other options if the piano black isn't your personal taste. The base is fully upholstered with felt. And I like the four rubber feet as I've detailed because it means that it's not going to slide about or vibrate on the desk. Hinges are solid stainless steel, which is good. They're not going to rust or corrode, as you can see, and they're mirror polished to a good standard. So the stainless steel hardware is very good quality. And I like the fact that the stainless steel hinges are screwed into the solid wood lid and also the solid wood base. So it's a good tight fit. The lid doesn't flop around on the base. The base of the winder, I'll just remove the cushion and show it to you. It's fully upholstered with a vinyl fabric as you can see it's vinyl plastic with a nice grained finish and the interior of the lid is also upholstered with a vinyl plastic to a good standard so they've done a good job of finishing because the quality of the lacquer is good I like the fact it's a solid wooden base and also solid wooden top it's not made from plastic so it does have a heavy solid feel to it and I like the fact that the base is very heavy and solid because it doesn't vibrate about and it doesn't feel hollow now, the thing to note about watch winders, and I'll apply this to this J Queen one and also other watch winders, you'll know this from my previous reviews. 
When buying, it, when buying a watch winder, the most important thing, the single thing you need to consider is the make of the motor. This J Queen best single watch winder is powered by a Mibushi motor, which is made in Japan. It's not made in China. And Mibushi motors have a very good reputation for reliability and also for being very quiet. Now, this Mibushi motor runs consistently below five decibels. Now, Chinese motors are often unreliable and also they're very noisy. They run at above five decibels, so the sound of the motor is audible. Now, this is particularly noticeable if you put this on a bedside table, for example, and you want to run it in your bedroom while you're sleeping. If it's running at above five decibels, you'll be able to hear the hum or the buzzing noise of the motor, and it's very annoying because you can't sleep. So this is particularly suitable if you want to wind your watches in a bedroom, on a bedside table, for example, or a bedside cabinet next to your bed where you sleep, because you're not going to be able to hear below five decibels. This motor sounds silent. For example, I'm running it now, and my microphone isn't picking up the noise of the motor. It's very quiet running it off the battery power. It's also very quiet when running it off the AC adapter, so it doesn't matter if you run it off rechargeable batteries or you run it on AC power. It still is silent. So Mabushi motors are incredibly reliable and they will run consistently at 900 turns per day, non-stop 12 hours per day, 7 days per week, 365 days per year and they do not fail. With watch winders it's a case of one gets one pays for. Yes you can buy less expensive watch winders on AliExpress, Amazon and eBay but the problem is they're powered by Chinese motors. The Chinese motors aren't just noisy. The other problem is, for example, you can buy a Chinese watch winder and after three months, nine months or six months, the motor can just fail. They don't give any warning, they just stop working. And then you have to buy another watch winder. So really it's a case of one gets one pays for. It's worth paying the extra to get a Mabushi motor in a watch winder because they're made in Japan to a higher standard. The quality control, the builds quality and the materials are all higher quality. So 50 US dollars including shipping, you can get 5% discount off that by signing up your email. I think it's excellent quality and excellent value um, for 50 US dollars. I think that it's, it's very good to have the AC power adapter. You have the choice of the three plugs, uh, European, American or UK. And if you don't want to use the power adapter, you can put in two AA batteries in the base as I've demonstrated. Really the only negative is that it only has 900 turns per day for clockwise, anti-clockwise and alternating, alternatively 600 uh, and 50 turns per day on the other alternating setting. I really would just like to see them add an additional power con uh, TPD knob and then you could adjust it from 500 to 900 to 1200 to 1500 turns per day just for higher power reserve movements such as 50, 60 or 70 hour power reserves. But if you have a 40 hour power reserve movement such as an NH35A or an SW200-1 this will suffice at 900 turns per day. So no negatives to it other than that. The build quality is very good, the quality control is very good and I like the fact the cushion is large enough for an 8 inch bracelet. And really the finishing throughout is very good. So I'm going to highly recommend it to you for your consideration. Excellent quality and excellent value at 50 US dollars. So I hope you've enjoyed my review of the J Queen Best Single Watchwinder. Please feel free to post your own comments below the video. Thank you very much.